guys, it's Gabby from What's Gabby Cooking. Today we're making one of my favorite summer recipes. It's wild caught salmon and avocado slaw lettuce wraps with my friends over at California Avocados. I am a California girl, so this feels so right. Here we go. All right, so first thing we have to do is cook this beautiful piece of wild caught salmon. This is like even thickness. You don't want to get anything that's too thin on one end and too thick on the other end. It doesn't cook evenly. We're just going to actually flip this over and season the bottom of it with a tiny, tiny bit of olive oil. Not too much because listen, nobody wants their stovetop to get messy. And then season the bottom with a little pepper, a little kosher salt and then flip it back over and do the same thing on the top. Okay, get a little bit of oil on there. And then we're just gonna season this with some kosher salt. I like to liberally season things too. Like you could use any sort of all purpose seasoning on this recipe. We're just doing salt and pepper, so make sure it's well seasoned. The slaw is gonna be amazing and add a ton of flavor as well, but you want a good nice crust on there. Okay, so this grill pan is hot. I can feel it, you obviously can't feel it, but like it's warm. This is gonna go skin side down. If you live somewhere, like California, like me, where it's beautiful out and you're already in grilling season, you could do this exact same recipe on the grill. I'm just gonna put this right on here and we're gonna let it cook. And here's the beauty about doing it like this. You're not even gonna have to flip it, which I know is very scary to people. We can literally just put the top on this once the bottom's nice and crispy to finish cooking the top gonna be perfect. Okay, if you don't have a lid for whatever pan you're doing this in, just use the same sheet pan you were prepping on, pop it right on top, and then the heat's gonna get trapped in there to cook the top part of the salmon. This is gonna cook for probably like eight-ish minutes total, and then it'll be perfectly flaky. All right, let's go ahead and take this off. That's stunning. So because we cooked this skin side down, the bottom should come up very easily. I'm just gonna use my fish spatula to kind of loosen it up. Perfect. And we are going to remove it to a plate. This is truly perfect. And if you take it off and you think it needs like another minute or so, no big deal. The residual heat from cooking this is gonna keep cooking it and then we'll flake it off in a minute. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's just hit this with a little bit of flaky salt to finish. And then we're just gonna juice a little bit of lime right on top to give it a little acid, and then we'll set this off to the side and make our slaw. Okay, so let's talk about cutting an avocado because there is a right way and there is a not safe way. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our knife and we're gonna just cut around the pit, keeping this on our cutting board and just kind of rotating the avocado around our knife. Let's open this up. I mean, that's the most beautiful avocado I've ever seen in my entire life. So now we're just gonna put it back together, put it back on the cutting board and use your knife to cut it the other way. So you're kind of cutting it into quarters. Just rotate it around the knife. And then we can twist it all apart, take off all four quarters, there we go. And then instead of nicking the pit out with your knife, we're just gonna go remove it with our hands very carefully, like so. Now that we have this cut open, we're just going to take these beautiful quarters and peel off the skin and just kind of take it right here. Look at that. Am I a food stylist? Yes, perhaps I am. That is gorgeous. If you are not as well-versed in the world of California avocados like me, they are a spring through summer fruit and they, it is like, it is like Christmas morning when California avocados come into stock. Wait, look at how beautiful that looks. I love being able to shop locally. So this time of year is my time to shine. Let's just slice this. Perfect. Hot tip, you guys. When you're grocery shopping and you see California avocados at the store, I like to buy them when they're pretty much rock hard and they'll be a little bit brighter green. I bring them home and let them ripen on my counter. That way I can tell exactly when they're ready and it's time to make all the things. So we are going to reserve half of this avocado for making the slaw a little bit later. And then these ones are the ones that are gonna go on top of our lettuce wrap, on top of the salmon, on top of the slaw. They're like the beauty moments. So we're just gonna go ahead and take these quarters and then slice them up really carefully. 
I mean, I don't know how I'm not supposed to eat one of these right now, but like, look at that. The most perfect slice. Sorry, I did it. <laughs> All right, these look gorgeous. Okay, we made the salmon, we sliced some avocados, and now we're gonna make this incredible California avocado slaw. I love this recipe. You can put it on cabbage, lettuce, whatever, also vegetables, chicken, steak, you name it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put half of the California avocado into a food processor. Blender works too. Just pop it right in there. To that, we're gonna season it with a little bit of oregano, a pinch of red pepper flakes, I mean, I like it spicy. That was more than a pinch, but whatever. Do what you will. And a little bit of kosher salt. And then to this, we're just gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Pop the top on, and we're just gonna puree this up until it's like a nice, beautiful, smooth, creamy consistency. Okay, look at this. This beautiful California avocado dressing is just gonna go right into this cabbage and onion mixture. I'm using green cabbage, purple cabbage, and a little onion. Honestly, use whatever you've got. If you only have lettuce, I support you. Just pour it all in there. No avocado left behind. And then you're just gonna take your tongs, just like this, and toss it up, and make sure that avocado sauce gets on every single piece of cabbage. That looks beautiful. That's one of my most favorite things about California avocados. We just pureed them into a sauce. You could smash them and eat them on pretty much everything. And if we don't have it at home, it's a sad day. Okay, so we've got the slaw, we've got the salmon. Let's assemble our lettuce wraps. First thing we're gonna do is just flake off this gorgeous salmon, a couple larger flakes. And this goes right on the bottom of the lettuce wrap and we'll just put a little bit in each one. So I'm just plating six right now, but this recipe easily makes 12 lettuce wraps. Like if you were having a pool party and you wanted to make something that was really pool party appropriate, this would be it. I feel, I feel that deep in my soul. Okay. So on top of the salmon, we're gonna take that avocado slaw and put a little bit of that right on top. As you can see, this is so colorful. The other cool thing about this is you could prep all this, keep it on your counter and let everyone DIY their own adventure, add whatever herbs they want, really kind of make it their own. That's my favorite way to entertain. That way I'm not stuck cooking all of your food. That's what I tell my friends. <laughs> I love you, but I don't love you that much. Okay, a little bit more slaw on this one. And then we are going to finish this with a couple beautiful slices of that California avocado on top of each lettuce wrap. Last one. And then we're just gonna finish this with a little sprinkling of salt, a little pepper. Let's go ahead and add some chives on top. If you love cilantro, go ahead and garnish it with cilantro as well. But if you don't, I, I get it. No judgment here. Just put a couple sprigs right on top. And then we'll just finish it with a couple squeezes of lime juice. And that's all she wrote, folks. How gorgeous is that? I'm very proud of myself. Moment of truth, guys. We get to taste this incredible creation. I'm super excited about it. Here we go. Mm. I mean, it's so good. The creaminess from the California avocados with the salt and pepper crusted salmon and that like crunchy slaw with the avocado sauce is actual perfection. The full recipe is on food52.com. Make it this summer, tag me, tag food52. You guys are gonna love this.